Okay, we're ready to go. I think we should be good. Hopefully you can hear me. I had to screw around with the microphone for a bit there. Okay. The camera's on a slight angle. Yeah, well. We'll live. Okay, so I did do some work off stream, so we should be pretty good. Yeah. So it is like three blocks lower right now, I think, and we want to go to four. So we're going to do one more layer, and that should be good, honestly. So let's do this. The final layer. So I just want to go, I think, to where it's going to be right at this level. I feel it will be like the best um, use of this. I know it's like the most boring thing ever, but it's gonna look pretty cool when it's done though, so I'm, I can't wait for that. Hello, how are you? I'm gonna go back to the house and get some stuff. <laughs> not bad, not bad, chilling out, you know. Working on a build I've been working on for a little bit now, so. I need some frog lamps. What did I do with the rest of them? Oh, there they are. Just checking out around Twitch, I assume. Basically what I'm doing is I'm making a dam so that one side of the river has like a regular water level and it's going to be lower on the other side. So I'm just been lowering the water one layer at a time basically. Well I got one of those things, not a bunch of spam in the chat. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Because we got, you know, like the boat and everything in the harbor and stuff over here, so makes sense. I think it'll look cool once I get the dam done itself, too, like from up here. Yeah. I have a low draw distance on because I'm playing this on a, uh, on a realm. Just because it makes it run a little bit better. I, I get less corruption issues that way. Because I'm playing on bedrock, so. 
Bedrock PlayStation 5. Okay. Yeah. Yep. This world is eight months old. Um, it's a survival world, and I pretty much stream almost every night for two hours, so it doesn't take long to build up a world. I had a one-year world before, but it died due to a corruption issue. Hence why I'm trying to be more careful with this one. I can give you a little tour if you want. So yeah, we got we got a lot of random builds. We got a Croza statue here, dedicated to Filza. We got a Tommy Init Zelda inspired statue. We got a little Techno tribute, Techno Blades House. And we got this giant tower made of purple. It actually spins, the lights do on it, but it doesn't stay on because as soon as you leave the chunk, it like resets. See? Yeah. Yeah, so there's that. There's. Hmm, so much stuff. Um, there's the harbor here with the giant boat. I actually have a walking path for most of this stuff. This is a gold farm. What else we got? Smelting. Uh, I'll go this way first. Little axolotl sanctuary. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I don't get notifications right away on this, so... That's the map of everything, basically. Um, got another little tower there. These two mountains here, I built from scratch and added, like, a nice little path around them. Oh, cool. Sweet. Appreciate that. <laughs> eee! So yeah, we built these, mountains are hollow on the inside, but we, we built them from scratch just to, because I wanted to have this little double mountain thing, with the little wooden path going the whole way around. Up on top of this mountain behind my house is a giant prism dedicated to the band Pink Floyd. <laughs> um... But it's basically a museum for, like, everything in the world. Like, our first armor and different stuff. Like the egg, dragon head, discs, first bed, first blocks all upstairs and stuff like that. So, yeah. It's just a little museum. I just find making museums when you're doing a world this big, big it uh, makes it a little bit better. Right? I should do a giant wall. A giant white wall. That would be cool. But yeah, a little Dark Side of the Moon reference there. Um, we got the Sheep Farm. Automatically sorts all of my wool into my chest in my house. Through a little waterway here. <laughs> Haven't really done any huge builds. Most of these builds I consider to be like medium to large. And um... Mo I've done big, really big builds on my last world. Like, I had the whole end filled with water. Yeah. And then this is villager trading. Do, 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 do. Now there, there's a blaze farm and stuff in there. It's a guest house. Do, 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 do. Little frog pond over here. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. And then, yeah, this is my main house here. It's just a lot of time. And when you're streaming, it gives you... I think it gives you more motivation to do bigger builds. I do miss my one-year world. I do talk about it a lot. But what happens, basically, is... In Bedrock, I'm... PlayStation and Xbox and stuff, if you get a world that's over one gigabyte, it's susceptible to a corruption problem that Mojang hasn't fixed yet. 
unfortunately. Um, so you can lose worlds like that. Unless you have them on a realm. So that's why I play this on a realm with the lower draw distance. Just because that way I know I'm more guaranteed to keep the world for longer. I won't have any of those issues, supposedly. So, yeah. Pretty much. I mean, it costs money to have a realm, but, like, I have an SMP with a few friends, too, so we use that, and then I also have this on here when I'm playing solo, so it works, it works. Tonight, it is ending about an hour and 45 minutes from now. I only just started, like, 11 minutes ago. Hey, Luna, how's it going? It's lunatic. Yeah. Is it? This is Luna, by the way. This is one of my mods. She's chill, though. She claims to be crazy, but she's chill. Verse is gonna be on the night too. So, uh, do you also play much Minecraft Livewire? I used to play Java a lot when I, when I uh, first started playing Minecraft, and just I don't have access to a good computer right now at the moment. I can't afford one, so I'm pretty much just playing on my PlayStation is my best option. It just takes time. I'm I'm of the impression that anybody can build stuff like this. It just definitely takes a lot of patience, and like I said, if you're streaming to other people, you kind of have a motivation to do it because you know if you don't then you're basically just giving up <laughs> in front of a bunch of people so it's just like you might as well just do it always stuck to the xbox yeah, that's fair xbox is cool too I'm not really partial to whatever it's just that most of my friends are on PlayStation, so I kind of stick to PlayStation, that's all. Yeah, thank you for dropping in, even if you can't come back, um, just, uh, come back some other time. It's all good. Like I said, nobody has to be here, it's all good. Have a good night, day, whatever it is for you. Thank you for the follow again, appreciate that very much. Yeah, and I'm sure it'll come out great. Okay. Do do do. Push 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 push. Okay, okay. We chillin', we chillin'. Whew, I have to go to the Blaze Farm tonight, too, because my sheet is getting very broken from doing this off-stream. 
It's funny, I haven't actually been playing that much Minecraft off stream. I've been playing a lot of DayZ, a lot of Sonic Frontiers, and a lot of Terraria. Mostly Terraria, though, and Sonic. DayZ gets frustrating quite quick. I'd like to stream Terraria, but I only really like the PC version of it, and obviously I don't have a way to do that. I don't know if you've ever seen Terraria Luna, have you? One more follower on our way to 60. It's been a while since we've had any new people come in here. The last little while has been pretty, uh, pretty slow on new people. To be fair, I haven't been doing any TikToks or anything like I was doing before. I haven't really had time until now, so maybe that's something I can focus on a little bit and get that done, too. say a gang but it was like two or three people yeah pretty much but a lot of those people a lot of the people I think that watch Minecraft are younger too so it depends on like school times and stuff like that too right like during the summertime it's easier for me to have those kind of viewers and then because like once people are in high school and stuff like that they're not really watching you know time with all the school work also obviously people have jobs and stuff too I think versus main problem is just their internet is just not that great and Australia be having a rough go of it lately Okay. See that? I like that level right there. Right where it ends like that. Compared to it being like up to there. We've removed like five layers. We just need to keep going. No. I mean, but like, that's like with streaming anything. Even big streamers. Like, you're going to have people that come and go constantly, right? You're not going to have... You'll have a few people that keep coming back. But realistically, you're probably going to have more people that are just uh, there for a little bit. And then kind of just ghost. Which is fine. That's fair. I there's, there's streamers that I used to watch that I just don't watch anymore at all. The only streamer I've consistently watched all the time really have been uh, Phil and Will. And that's it, really. Sometimes schlatt. I was thinking they just finished the lore on, on the Dream SMP for like the season season finale. And it was pretty intense. 
And I was thinking, you know, I never watched a lot of the lore that went on in that, but then I was remembering that the only... The only people's lore that I really ever watched was... Techno and Phil, and obviously Phil doesn't really play on there anymore. And, obviously, Techno can't, so... Kinda... I kinda fell off on the Dream SMP lore. Until I figured that out. Until I, uh, seen the finale thing, I had to watch it, cause... I've literally been watching that for two years following that story, so I mean, like, you know, you gotta see how it ends, right? It was really cool, really well written. I don't know if Will wrote it or if someone else did, but it was well done. It's funny though. I don't. I don't know that that would have been as popular in general if it wasn't for COVID to begin with. I think COVID really uh, is what made that popular because everyone was stuck indoors. And then once that happened and everyone was following along and they didn't have anything else to do besides you know stay at home. was because it's literally what brought everybody together to do it in the first place you know it's kind of weird when you think about it like that like I probably never would have gotten into it if it wasn't for that I don't remember what got me into it first I think I'm trying to think I think it might have been Phil I think I just watched one stream with Phil and then from Phil I already knew who Technoblade was and I became a fan of Technoblade and then when I found out that they were doing like a story thing, I was like, oh, that's cool. I'll go watch that. And then I became a fan of Tommy and then I became a fan of everybody else. And I was like, they're uh, quite talented. Nobody cares, I see. On the contrary, lots of people care. What did you think of the music video? Opinions, seeing as how you're one of the first early watchers of it. Me too. It's called my life. A day mare, I guess. Me too. That being said, it's weird because I watched the video and I was cringing so fucking hard at myself. <laughs> but then everybody I showed it to, I showed it to like, I have this little group of like five people that I'll show to like ahead of time just to get their opinions. And then if they say, oh, this, you should change this, this should be done, then I'll relay that to Mike, you know? Um... But everybody seemed to have a pretty good reaction to it, surprisingly. Because I, I, I literally, I hated it. It's one of the first music videos that, that we've done where I was like, I don't like this, personally. And I think it might have been because it was primarily focused on me and they weren't really 
Mike and Aaron weren't really in the video besides like the two little sections where they're walking past. Hi, sir. Yeah, that's what I mean. Mike was like, well, it's a personal song, so let's just have it be you. And I was just like, okay. I didn't like it. It was fun to film. But I'm not even saying it's bad. It's just me. I personally just didn't. I don't enjoy watching myself in any videos, in all honesty. Unless it's live stuff, doesn't make me cringe. But, like, even, like, those little interviews, I fucking hate it so much. I hate it. Because I don't notice my accent until I, until I see those videos, and I'm like... I think everybody's like that to a certain degree anyways. But that that's on purpose though at the same time because the video is supposed to be uncomfortable because the subject matter is uncomfortable. Right? And where we're going for like a liminal space vibe that's that's the entire idea, right? You're supposed to be uncomfortable. And the way that we filmed the video and edited it together, because we all had input on the editing of it, um, was completely intentional. Like, you'll, I, you'll notice that a lot of the shots, like, they don't make sense, or, like... We purposely filmed the video in two separate harbors that were different. And then when we in post, we edit them together so that they look like they're the same harbor. But like, if you really think about the layout of it, it doesn't make any sense. And then the whole highway thing where there's cars going by, where it's like an apocalyptic idea too, right? Like the end of the world, there's not very many people around. Um, hence why it was just Mike and Aaron. Exactly. And honestly, the song isn't really about anything specifically. Some people are probably going to try and pick out some specific things in the song that it could be about to do with me, but it's not really a specific thing. It's just kind of, I think, just a, just a, a overall in general kind of deal, I think, is the subject matter. But, um, yeah, the video, I... We got all the shots we wanted. It, it came out fine. Like, I don't hate the video. I just... I, like I said, I just what, hate looking at myself in videos. I can't stand it. Because <laughs> I'll either pick apart something to do with, like, the way I talk or my mannerisms or like the way I'm dressed or something and I'll be like oh I don't like that I shouldn't have done that I shouldn't have wore that I shouldn't have did this and then so I just tend to not really watch the videos that much <laughs> in all honesty because otherwise I just dwell on stuff like that when I know that there's not really a problem with it more than anything I think Mike probably didn't want to be in the video either after the last video because people were like commenting and, and shitting on him which is kind of just the internet in general that happens, but I don't think he's used to it to the same degree that I am. I feel like streaming and doing videos and watching other streamers got me prepared a little bit more for people to be like that. <laughs> but yeah, it came out good, I think. I think it's fine. It isn't quite the idea I wanted to go for. We kind of had to... So the idea originally was that we were going to do it in a mall that was empty. But uh, we couldn't we couldn't get around to doing it because... Um, 
I was on the way to Bend and I got a flat tire so I couldn't make it so they had to come pick me up and we just decided to basically um, wing it just out around where I live around the area. And that's what we did. Because I wanted to do something similar to like the back rooms or something like that. That would have been a cool idea. It is kind of funny too because the liminal space thing. I've been into that for a while and like started getting into it more recently. And um. It's just funny how it came up like that. I've had a flat tire for about, I want to say, almost a month. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I I picked up a screw in my tire, basically, so I have a slow leak. But uh, it got much worse as of late, so kind of kind of screwed on that front. I'm getting my tires changed to my winter tires on the 25th, so I've been kind of holding out to hoping that the tire would hang in there till then just pumping it up all the time but uh for whatever reason that why are there so many zombies coming out of that cave whatever reason my uh tires were it wasn't the tire that was the problem it was the pump it, i didn't charge it the night before so it was it died and then my tire went flat and i didn't have time to charge it before band so i basically couldn't go anywhere so they just came and got me, and uh, we drove around and did the shots that we wanted to. And we could always save that idea for another video sometime, it's not a big deal. I'd rather have an office building, honestly, but I don't know where I could go to get that here. Because everywhere you go, they want you, you to pay the money to be able to use whatever location. And it's like, bro, like, I ain't got no money. What do you think this is? What do you think we are a famous band or something? Bro, like, are you fucking shitting me, sir? Kindly go fuck yourself. Are you kidding me? Where are they coming from? Bro. Rude. You know, we should probably just sleep Have to deal with less zombies and drowns, much worse. But yeah, so uh, I'm glad the video came out the way it did. I think uh, it went as well as it possibly could have, so. That's good. I, with our videos, they never go as planned. Like, I don't think we've ever had a video that's gone as, according to plan. We've always had some sort of thing that, that has gotten in the way every time. Mainly because we don't have a camera crew. Like, we don't have someone that's going to film for us, right? Like, it's just us. We're just doing it all ourselves. I mean, you know this. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you. I'm not going to explain the theme, the themes of the video of like what we were going for because the video I think has probably a different subject matter technically than the song, but it's similar. Um, and I want, I want to let people figure it out. I like, I like seeing what people come up with when they watch a video or listen to a song. I like seeing what they think something is about. You know that, that's like one of my favorite things. That being said, most of the album is pretty straightforward this time around, so. So yeah. Anyway, it's enough talking about that. 
I can't believe I'm gonna get a tattoo on Thursday. It's pretty crazy. Kinda scared, not gonna lie. Not scared, just anxious. Haven't done it before, I'm sure it's not bad. I'm not getting it in any place, that's gonna be crazy painful anyway. I don't really know which one I want to get. I have four picked out that I'm going to get. I don't know which one I want to do. Probably just going to go with the Sonic one, I feel like. And it's funny because, you know what? It, as soon as I, I, I was getting it... Um, my mother is one of those like old school people that's like, Why would you get a tattoo? Don't be so foolish. You're gonna regret that. I'm like, well, if I was ever gonna get one, getting one right now when I can get it for free is probably the best time to get it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Right? Like, why would I... Why would I not? How could I turn that down? And it's not like it's someone I don't trust or someone that's bad at it. He's actually really good. I'm just going to get the outline done, like the black outline. And then he's not used to doing coloring yet. So we're going to, I'm going to just leave that alone for now. And we'll do that later on. I'm pretty excited though. There, there's one tattoo in particular that's bigger that I'm not going to get to later, but it is one that I've wanted for ever since I ever thought about getting one. I, it was one that I wanted. Um, the Sonic one was kind of like, obviously if I'm going to get like anything video game related, it's going to be Sonic the Hedgehog and Minecraft are going to be the two things, right? But I don't want to do nothing too direct with a lot of them. It's like the Minecraft one. I'm not going to get like a creeper or nothing like that. I'll probably just get like a hardcore heart. Or, and uh, get it colored in later. Bruh. Like, where are you guys coming from? Seriously. Because the, the main big one that I want to get is is Lane Staley's artwork. I want to get it tattooed on me. It's a, a picture of him and his girlfriend at the time, Demery. It's like a negative art. I want to get that. I really think it's really cool. Oh my god, could you please frig off? Oh my lord. Like, mind your business, bruh. God, did he stealing my blocks and shit too? Yeah, like, get fucked. Jerk. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about that. I've got some, uh, I applied to a bunch of jobs today, um, and I will apply again in a day. I usually do, like, a day and then take a day and then do it again, just in case I get calls. I don't want to have, like, multiple calls or multiple jobs and tell one person I'm not interested anymore or something. I always feel awkward when that happens. None of them are restaurants, because I just, I can't, can't. Someone at a job I used to work at asked if I would like to come back there, and, um, I thought about it, but the management is pretty much the same, so it probably wouldn't be a good idea. 
I did like my kitchen manager there, but the rest of it was like, ugh, brutal. Actually, probably one of the best kitchen managers I've ever had was at that job. We're only doing one layer of this, by the way, because I don't need to do more than one layer tonight. This this is it now. It's done once we're done this. We just need to work on the actual dam part again. Because I did four layers off stream. Bruh. Apparently, um, the job that I left has not been going well since I left either. But I mean, that's not, not because of me. That's just, it, that place just gets progressively worse. It was getting worse as I was leaving. I, and like, there was, there was a few times there where I was like, man, I don't know if I should be doing this. Maybe I should stay. And then, and then, uh, the place itself would just change my mind immediately. I'm like, yeah, I remember why I'm leaving. It's so funny to think that like up to here was like filled with water and now it's just got like nice grass on it. It's just weird. Shit be weird. chicken I've had this weird uh, craving to play a Call of Duty game lately. Not any of the new ones, just older ones. I don't know why. It's very uh, weird for me. Those aren't really games I play anymore. I 
I have changed my opinion on Sonic Frontiers, by the way. After playing it for a little bit more and getting into it, it's actually not that bad. Once you get used to how the game works, it's actually pretty good. It's probably the best Sonic game they've done in years, honestly. Not to say that it's perfect. I don't think that it deserves the 88 uh, user score that it has right now. I feel like it's more of a... Like a 70. I feel like a 70 would be a good score for it. Because it definitely has problems. Like, definitely. But it's not bad. It has a lot of good good ideas. And it's just that some of those ideas are kind of poorly ex executed. But it is fun. It is a fun game. We're almost done. One more, one more go, go of these layers, and we're done. Pretty much. Uh, I've been going for 47 minutes now, so like another 40 minutes, hour and a half. It's okay. It's all good. Right? It does suck. But you need your rest. If you can get any. I hope you can. Definitely hard sleeping when you're stressed out. I haven't been able to sleep lately because my, my teeth have been driving me crazy. That's good. Need something that's not as taxing, probably. It's all fine and good to get paid good at like a, a job, but like if you're not, if you're not feeling healthy while you're there, then it's not really worth it, in my opinion, at all. Why is it okay to lie to the dentist? I don't know. Ow. The fuck? Rude. Two of you. What is this witchcraft? Could have been bad. Sorry, I got distracted. I don't know. Why is it okay to lie? Because the tooth hurts. <laughs> I feel like I've heard that before. I think I might. I think my dentist might actually have that joke on their wall. I'm not even joking. I like how you came into the stream being all like going all crazy and then like literally like a half an hour later you're just like yeah I'm falling asleep. <laughs>
You're just like, whoa, it's crazy Luna. Half an hour later, yeah, I'm, I'm passing out now. Well, you should go to sleep then. You don't have to be here. It's okay. I'm used to talking to myself. I know. I appreciate that. I really do. I did the entire stream last night by myself. Well, I guess I wasn't by myself because I had C, man. Could. You need to get sleep. <laughs> Me sad cry now. Plenty of people care. That's why I care, because you need to sleep. You have to work. This is my master plan. Bro, if I had a master plan, I'd be much better off than I am. <laughs> it for this part. Water is finished. And all I need to do is finish the actual dam part. I don't even know why I'm bothering picking this up because I don't need it. Might need, might need it later though. So there we go. I don't think I've ever done anything like that before. Usually I'm into adding water, not removing it. That looks cool though.
question becomes... Where do I put the fences? I think, like, right here, maybe. Well, we kind of want the water to flow in a little bit, you know? I'm thinking right here. Although it needs to be something that has a block on both sides of it. Otherwise it's going to look fucking strange. Okay, so it's going to have to be like in here, maybe. I'm trying to think how I can do this. Uh, okay, let's just work on the actual thing first. Well, what are you doing, baby? Hopefully behaving. I'm just going to throw a few of these down here just to light it up down here a little bit. I wish that these drowns would just, like, fuck off, though. That'd be nice. <laughs> Bro, like, where are you guys coming from? God damn. Okay. The idea is it's not like perfect. Like it's not stopping all the water, but it's stopping most of it. That's the whole point. So we want water to be flowing in somehow. Just trying to think where we could put it because it's going to look weird. Regardless. I was going to use the grates, but that would have been perfect if... The dam was literally just, like, a flat, usual design, because I went with this design. It's a bit different. Bro, why are there so many drowns right now? Like, why? They do so much damage. So much damage. Okay. There we go. That's pretty good. Just need to finish that one part. I just can't figure out how I want to do it. Stay on this side. I can breathe underwater at least. If I put it here, it's gonna look weird. It's gonna look weird. I think I'll just leave it. It's not really worth it if I'm gonna ruin it. That's what I am. Don't think so. Not today, creepers. Do you? I don't even know if I know that song. I know you posted it a little while ago. Okay. Let's 
Um, where did I have these two? Here? I don't even know. Kind of just winging this here. We'll add some more. It's okay. The more the better, really. I don't think so. I might. I might. I very well might. I just probably don't remember. I definitely don't know it all, no. I do not know it all. Everybody says I do, but I don't. I don't know where they get that to. Once again, if I knew it all, I'd have everything figured out by now. Um, okay, I think we're good. I should be fine. How's it look from down here? Is that a witch over there? It is too. Yeah, like that's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> Bruh. Dudes be shooting at me and shit. I think that's good. I think that's pretty good. I don't know. I might want to change these fences. I don't know about if I like the cobblestone. Maybe it might be better if it was like a stone fence. Don't think I have stone fences though at the moment. Could make some, but still. No, I, I have a few. I have 18. I don't think that's enough. Eh, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I'm happy with it. Let me take out my map too, just to make sure I got everything here. We gotta update the maps. I have a bit of a headache from earlier. I don't think I'm getting a flu again. I think I'm getting like a cold or something. Just have that that sickly feeling.
that away. Put those away, because I didn't even freaking use them, really. I didn't. There. Yeah. Put those in here. So many extras. That's good, though. We'll need those when we're doing the um, other stuff. I can't see straight. since I've been here. Holy shit. Yeah, there's so many magma creams. Well, that guy's gone. So many magma creams. This is just about the worst thing that could happen right now. Let me just uh, block that off so they can't come down here real quick. Oh, God. Turn down the game sounds. Bro. Did I leave blaze rods down here? I did. Fancy. They take forever to spawn. So annoying. Well, at least I healed my elytra, I suppose. Hey. I don't know what I'm going to do for the other ones. 
Might need to, um... Might need to get that Enderman farm on the go soon. Now, Mr. Slime. I want to make sure my elytra is healed just because, damn. I'm using a lot during those builds. This song be a jam. Whoa, what the fuck was that? That was weird. Alright, I just wanted to update the map, and then I'm pretty much done. That is my errands. Glad I got that done though, now we can work, focus on the end for the next few streams, unless Briss is down to do the SMP. The map. The map. I don't think it'll show up from here, I'm pretty sure I have to. Pretty sure. God damn it. That's gone though, I need to fix that, but it's not bad. I think it looks cool from up here. <laughs> the queen emoji. I don't know why those emojis always make me laugh. We need to finish this side of the map. It's not centered. Some emojis are just so cheesy. I don't know. I mean, when, when, when it's just, you don't, like, I don't know. They just have this look to them. Sunset. Sunset. My controller is being so bad right now. Probably all the Sonic I've been playing. Okay, I guess I'll end here. I don't really have anything big planned yet or anything, so it's only really the end I need to work on. I'm going to have to heal my pickaxes, and that'll take a fucking hour of stream to do. So I'll just end here for tonight, and then tomorrow we'll be back at it again. Yeah, see you later. Once again, thank you for the follow, Livewire.